We're going to go back to getting claims on these guys so then we can expand and take these provinces. And then from there, it's anyone's game. Yeah, back to E4 for a little bit. Just wanted to try Oda and this new strategy. Maybe some Rim World as well later. Who knows? Who knows? All right, and we're also getting... Are we getting some... Oh, the looting's all gone. That's fine. Of course, the looting's all gone. Those butt -holes took it. So, unfortunately, my ally being an idiot actually wrecked me in what he did, which is unfortunate. Oda does seem OP, yeah. The last Japan game I know where he was playing in the C4 game with Bob. Yes, that was ages ago. Try to already fall apart a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. Not like in a big way, but... Okay, it's fine. We're going to get the province. That's what matters here. Uh, in fact, how many do I actually need to siege this down? It's only three. I could actually go siege this down over here as well. Newborn daughter, 446. Yes, please. Boom. I will happily lose that. Name of Sen. I will actually name it after the person whose strategy this is. His name was Handsome B-O-H. Handsome B-O-H. There we go. 300 series episode series on Wizard 8. My goodness, that sounds like a good game. Good saviors, rather. All right. Damn it. And of course, now we're starting to have some manpower issues. Tokugawa is the clever one, Ogosaru. Fine. There we are. Everything's gonna be fine. Let's take a look at this. So, the person's guide after, after he conquered the essential countries of Infant Sitio, then Hitachi and Serapis deal. After you stick in Kai small countries and take five provinces to take Japan. And try to take Moots at some point before the rest of the guide kicks off. Develop Renaissance in Awari. This is for the manpower and economy boost, which I think is pretty necessary. And then Usagui and Hasakawi. Declare them the allies and fully occupy them in turn, but don't accept peace. And basically just wreck the entire country. TJ Lise is done. Shigi's declared war on Shiba. Don't care about that. Kind of wish... I don't really want to conquer it anyway, because I don't have the uh, claims to do so. So that's fine. All right. This means we can separate piece them. It's going to be great. So we're going to fabricate claim on him. And we're going to stop building that. So they are actually fighting. Uh, oh, they're actually also fighting Kitasabi. Huh? Oh, yeah, so they are. The Atomo and Imagawa troops are here. It's weird. So where's Toki's forces? So they also ally with Date. If I declare war on Tsutsio, they will call in Toki and Date. Toki will only call in Tsutsio. But I do want to do both. He names the kid like we're not even here. Life is pain. So I want to conquer both. But it'll also call in Date. Date has no forces here. Just keeping an eye out to see where their armies are. They are down there. They're all the way down there. So that's awesome. In fact, where is Toki's forces? I mean, North, because she was heading up there. That's weird. Let's take a look at the ledger. Oops, I went to the wrong one. Okay, Toki. Toki has 3,000, so I'd be fighting about 6,000 men with my 6,000. It's okay. All right, there we go. So we're going to peace out with these guys. There's some of that dank cash. I could also make them end their rivalries. Um, and if I do that, it's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, it does cause me a bit of a truce issue. But being able to end rivalries is really nice. Gives me some prestige. Well, it's only five prestige. I don't really care about war reps. Let's do that. End rivalry and give me that war reps. Thank you. 
Okay. Challenge if you're up for it. Um, well, later on, I'm not doing the challenge. Yeah. Doing a challenge right now. Well, doing this game right now. Then we're going to take this. Take all their money. Beautiful. Okay. And how many troops does Tutsio have? Uh, they also have three, so I'm only going to be fighting 6,000 men. Dates there. I don't know where they are, though. Where are their armies? Hmm. I guess they could be traveling all over the place. Ah, Toki's forces are down there. What is going on? Can't discuss it. You can discuss it. Go ahead. But just not, just don't want to do the challenge. But go, we can still discuss it. No problem. Okay. Um, I guess we could just declare war. If we did that, so you might obviously won't join because they're still in a war. We call in Date and Toki. And who is Date allied with? Date's allied with no one, so I don't care about that. I think we want to try and siege this bit down first, though. Well, actually, we can probably divide it. So, Sengoku to take capital of Yamato. We'll call in both. Uh, I will do that, make a core. And I'll also make... I said, not relevant to the stream, so you'd like me doing a series of Megacorp once you get the DLC. Yes, most certainly. Okay, so there's three up there. And three to the left. So I'm fighting 9,000. Let's see if we can beat them up. Let's get them. Corporations have boards, right? Yes. 3rd November. Nice, we've caught them in some hills, unfortunately, but that's okay. Nice, easy kills. Stack wipe. Can't go that way, unfortunately. So who should be serving the executive board of your megacorp? I'm not sure, actually. Ah, here we go. Here we go. And then we have some Tetsuya troops. And when are they going to get there? 14th? 7th. Nice, we got them. Here we go, get a nice stack wipe. Chat will love this. What, you mean- oh, name people- can you name- can you name people on your board after chat? That'd be cool. Nice, a near enough stack wipe. Wow, apparently I need to have nine regiments to start to kill that. Holy crap. That seems intense. Okay. Date, can you go away? Black Friday deals are up on GOG Origin. Should hit Steam soon. Nice, thank you. So unfortunately what's happening now is that they are trying to link up. Let chat vote. Alright, cool. There we go. We can make chat vote. That'd be cool. So I do need to keep an eye on date. They've got a thousand. So I still outnumber them. The annoying thing is I have to deal with this freaking annoying place. Length of war. Once I siege this, though, we'll be fine. The other army's trapped over here somewhere. God, that's why I need it, because they need nine troops for that. My god. How long until that's done? Come on. Shikawa's doing some things. First colony world, let chat vote. Pick an ascension perk, let chat vote. Oh, that sounds pretty good. I admit, I need to catch up on some of the Stellaris Megacorp DLCs, but I'm very excited for it, especially because it's coming so soon. I imagine I'll be getting it relatively soonish. 
Ah, some separatists. That's going to stop them actually being able to recruit, which is nice. Ooh, once they get sieged. Sieged Yamato, done. Excellent. These guys are actually Yamato separatists. Is that the only province they have? It's kind of weird. So these forces date? No, they're Toki and Satsumi. Damn. Well, we can try and get rid of Date's forces. Eventually. Let's go around. No! What? What the hell? Oh, of course they can go through. Got me there. Gotcha. Boom. Stack wiped. Okay. So obviously we can't do that. And date's going to be a problem for a little while. It looks like we're going to have to unfortunately build three. Where the wrong should the Xena resources be recategorized organic assets? That's the one, Effa. God, get it together. We're going to have to wait, unfortunately. That's frustrating, having to wait like this. There we go. Kill them real quick. Wait for our manpower to come back in. Oof. I don't think I can handle Toki just yet. That's intense. Make feel like human trans species. Now we're talking. Oh boy. That's gonna wreck me. Okay. Date has been fully sieged. And they don't have much money, so I'll just peace out with them now. What's the war they're in? Oh, it's the Fenner against the Imminent Conquest of Date. Okay, so we actually need to do this now. Great. Take Mino for the fort. Yeah, that's the goal. Is the problem is Mino, I need nine troops to be able to take it. So I had to wait until I had the troops ready. It's going to cost me a mint to do that, though. I start with the RAR. Love it. Go, 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 go. And we can get tax 52. Because we can't, uh, I want to try and make a general, but we can't afford to lose the mill power, considering we only get so many points per thing. And mill tech 4 is the most important possible, that those extra tactics. So we're still fighting 3,000 men, but to be honest, it's not an issue. Just have to wait for this. Are you serious? Oh, that wasn't us. Those are rebels. Whew. Whew. So yes, I do definitely need to try and take this. I should have been building a claim on this. Damn it, why am I still doing this? Okay, and from there, I'm probably going to want to go to Haitikama. Problem is, they have a billion allies. Jesus, age. Wait, Yamashikawa? Yeah, they're not Yamana, are they? Imagana. Oh, Imagana don't exist anymore. How about Tokugo? They're Hosokawa, so you have to leave them alone. Hey, what's up, Odie Banks? How you doing, my friend? You gotta watch out for the claims. We have to get claims. It's like a necessity, honestly. We got Hatikama. That's the one. That's another possibility. It's gonna require nine troops to siege. God, the alliance chain is crazy. Okay, these guys are the blues are allied. So these guys are allied. These guys are allied. Oof. Oh, look at that! It's actually both. Okay. So I could now try to get some claims on Hatakama. That could be pretty good, because their armies are going to be completely wrecked. That could be worthwhile. I am using Sengoku, yes. Remember Sengoku does... Uh, Sengoku is a better CP. I'm actually using it. It's 50% AE instead of 100%. But remember that claims still reduce the AE gain by 25%. So it's 25% off from getting claims, and then 50% off of that. So it's not additive, it's, stat it's multiplicative. 
I actually don't believe it requires claims. So Goku um, requires borders. And I can do Hagamakama. I'm, I'm about to take Mino for myself. Nice. I'm not sure if it requires. A is just number not when you're playing in Japan, my friend. Not when you were playing in Japan. God, your mana's terrible. I think I'm going to try and ally Uechi. Because they're pretty powerful. Ally to Ishikyo and Ito. Ito. And Ishiki. Kind of want to kill Ishiki, but... Ah, they actually conquered them. Oh, this guy was giving an insult. May your sky be filled with comets. <laughs> Ow. Very mean. Very hurtful. How could you do this to me? Come on, I don't want I don't want a loan. Yes. Toki. Okay, super peace. Boom. Boom. Yes. Nice. And then once you've got that done. Boom. Boom. All right, there we go. Need some new rivals now. Whew, okay, so we've expanded to triple our, well, quadruple our size. We are nice and big. Um, trying to grab, so Hatikama is definitely a good idea now. Problem is, they will call in Tokugawa. We got a claim on them, and I think we should try and get some claims on Tokugawa as well. Some nice promises here. Apparently, apparently the guy says once we get around five, we can contend it, but we'll see about that. So, let's get a rivalry on Hatikama. And another one on Tokugawa. Nice. Now, unfortunately, I am still a bit too much money. Well... Yeah, I'm still pretty bad on money. Did my expense fort maintenance? Oh, the fort maintenance. Oh, the fort maintenance. Tempted to just get rid of that fort. It's 5-1 right now. I can't really afford that fort. To be honest, to be honest, I can just kill it. I can just do it myself. I'm going to get rid of the fort. And that means I can probably survive pretty well. We're going to get rid of one regiment. It's going to put us back in the negative. The force is really good. I don't care. I'm going to be using it. I'm going to be destroying the world like crazy, so it doesn't even matter. Conqueror, your separatism. Nice. Renaissance. Okay. So, uh, there is an idea that we could try to get the Renaissance pretty quickly because it is actually a farmland. The local dev cost is actually massively reduced. Actually, not too bad. Where's the trading area? So we have to have Kyoto. It's not a trading area, but things like Setsu are. Actually, Natural Harbor. These actually don't give any bonuses. Huh. I thought this was a trading one, but it's not. It was a strategy because you do a quick recap at which name. What's up, man? Play Oda. Try basically conquer Japan. Um, and basically get Vassal Swarm. As long as you don't actually form Japan, you know, as a Shogun, you get infinite Vassal Swarm, like playing in the HRE. You consider that feature to be cheating? What feature, sorry? Stability 1 is really worth it. Alright, let's do this. Can Damas form coalitions? I do believe they can, yes. Now we gotta wait a little while. This is gonna be perfect to allow our manpower to build up a little bit. Unfortunately, I only do gain 1,200. Kind of wish I hadn't deleted that unit and just took the money. What? Did I die? Oh my god, my ruler died. Oh, I have a queen regency. Son of a crap. His son decided to commit seppuku as he goes to declaring a legal order conquest. Oh, I was forced to commit seppuku. I didn't get a choice? Harsh? Harsh! Fine. Dish move. Alright, let's get that. And we do have rebels in 11 years, 11 years. So in Kibaki and Edo. 
go there. Yep, we can tell you to do that. Steal two base tags. What? Oh, Shigawi. It was the Shogun, yeah. Douche move, bro. Buddy, I'm gonna, you're gonna regret that choice. Kinda wish I hadn't deleted my unit. It's okay. And yeah, my force lid is now starting to climb up as well. Because base six, subjugation minus three. And then one per province. So we're not going to wait for those appropriate claims. Anyone else who wants to be my friend? I still got, I got lines with Satake and Yamani. Oh man, like freaking no one. Let's get an alliance with this guy. As soon as that claim is done. So let's get rid of the one there. An alliance. Let's buy network. Good. Okay. Yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't deleted that just that one little bit of troops. Oh well. So what's my Queen Regency like? It's 232 with a handsome of 446. That's pretty good. That's alright. It's not bad. Liberty tired subjects. Oh man. Real marriage offer? No, thank you. I'm probably going to be fighting you on a relatively soon side. So these guys are allied with Imagawa, which is this guy here. Uh, Shimazu and Tokugawa. So Shimazu is all the way down there, so that's not a concern. So if I want to take this guy, I will have to fight all of these nations as well. Very easy, because I can just move my troops here, very quickly kill this, and then very quickly kill them, and then siege them all down. That is super easy, but I gotta wait for the appropriate claims. Nice. And apparently, I do need to try and take um, Mutsu as well. Just gonna keep grabbing those claims best we can. There's the Etsu claim. It's. Come on, give me that Diplo back. What? Oh, I forgot to remove him. Whoops. Got a claim, don't I? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get two if I want to try that, to be honest. Oh, actually, I can call in Satake and offer them claims. That'd be good. Let's take a look at AE real quick. 34. Yeah, it's pretty high. It's pretty high. So once I start grabbing a bit more, it's going to be the bigger to start getting pretty pissed off. It's okay. I don't know why, but the guide recommends me to grab Mutso at some point for some reason. One thing you should try and take is Mutso at some point for the rest of the guide kicks off. It's good to develop Renaissance. Why? Hmm. Okay. Kind of weird. Very strange. Let's see if I can do this. Try and get Shogun in 20 years from now. No, I don't want that. I'm still waiting for these claims to be generated. Being able to grab this big, quick succession of claims is really nice. So we're going to grab that one first because it opens up a lot more uh, expanses to conquer, like in K. And it also offers me to Kazuke. Okay. There we go. And we're going to try and get some claims on these guys too. And once these are finished doing, we should get some better force limits too. Still losing money, but it's not the worst thing to happen. I definitely shouldn't have deleted that unit. Definitely made a bag mistake there. I actually have super pretender rebels there, man. It's looking good. Still five years for these guys, but that's no big deal. Actually, I might uh, increase autonomy to get rid of those rebels, because I literally cannot afford to deal with that just yet. So we're going to wait for those claims. This also allows a little bit of time for our coalitions to go down. I mean, it's only, like, how much is it? Every year it's 1.8, so it's not exactly that interesting. But in this war, if I can grab, you know, this and this, I'll have, like, six provinces. That is nothing to sniff at, guys. I'll be pretty strong. And we are also looking to try to develop Renaissance in Uwari. 
And if I want to do that, I need to think about... Um, because basically it gets the economy that it gives you. So developing a renaissance in Awari. Could actually go with an edict. And we could actually get... Uh, yeah. That's just into two institutions spread. Our local death cost. And how much will it cost? Increase state maintenance of 200%. So it will increase it by 1.16. That's not a big deal. But local dev cost will go down, which is by 10%. So we're going to try to do an Awari, and let's take a look at the um, the table. So I have eight, um, eight thing. Let me find it. It's Roman's Paradox. It's, uh, he's, he had a really good guide uh, that told you about, that talked about development and about when you should do the, when you should invest within development at certain points and how many points it's going to cost. Let me just find that real quick. Oh man, his views have gone really up. He hasn't made a video in seven months. I don't understand why, man. You were such good. So good. His videos were so good. What happened to him? Maybe just stop playing E4. Well, okay, so da, 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 raw composition, military idea groups. Where did it go? Please tell me he did not delete it. Ports under control. Institutions, there we go. Not enough people use this guide, seriously. So good. It's honestly one of the best guides. So I have a starting development of eight. And a Roman's Paradox suggests if it ever loads. So with the starting development 8, it requires 2,158 total monarch points to be able to develop up to, uh, to develop uh, Renaissance. So obviously I don't have that. Um, and I also need to invest also in tech for military. But I'm basically going to chuck all my points here that I have. Because it's going to give me tons of money. I care about the money mainly. That's my main focus here. So that's 23. I didn't increase dev cost. I have an idle merchant, but I have no range of which to use him. Oh, I can do him here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oops. I cannot believe that. I forgot to... Uh... Oh, no, I should click from Beijing. You're absolutely right. You're 100% right. Thanks, Epa. Oh, that kills me. That absolutely kills me. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Okay, we can go high income. Construction time and construction cost. Fine. Span order. Oh, I'm salty. But once I get more points, I'll invest that. So now I am ridiculously rich. I can actually afford my army, which is great. I can also now make a state. That's something. Oh, I can't fabricate a claim. Oh, no. And so, yeah, we're at the point now where we can fight. So let's just do this. One more infantry, please. And we're going to cram the maintenance all the way up. There we are. Oh, I can't believe I didn't do that. I just talked about it. And I didn't do it. I just wasted like a hundred. I actually like 200 dev, 100 dev points or so just then. Jesus. Oh, they're at war. No, they're not. They're just doing something stupid. Come back. Uh, it means I lost my leader. Hey, 2-2. Two, two. That's pretty good. I've got to wait until 25 anyhow. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Where are you going? you doing? Oh, they're allied with Hasekawa. What? Oh, that's no, okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's fine. So I'm just going to have to call them in separately. Man. That sucks. So I can only take one province in this war. Okay. I can force Takagawa to break alliances, though. So that'll be pretty good. And then I can start a declaring war on these guys, and that would actually be pretty nice.